Hi, in this tutorial I wanted to cover drawing hair and specifically what I really wanted to cover is is a tendency for new artists to draw hair that looks a lot thicker and more like a noodle than, than hair should look, which is more of a, a ribbon kind of an effect. You want to make sure to avoid drawing uh, each individual hair when you when you draw a head of hair. You, it's something that needs to look more like a, a block and you want to draw an overall shape for your hair and then put detail into it as you need it. Uh, and that's something that I think is pretty valuable to understand, but specifically right now I want to talk about the major problem that I see with making hair look natural and realistic uh, when I look at samples. So I'm just going to get started. And I'm just going to give this character a fairly simple head of hair. And I'm sure you've probably found as you've been drawing, it becomes it is very easy to become pretty programmed. And so I'm going to do my best here to illustrate the problem that I see people having. And I want you to notice, actually, just as a bit of an aside, Whenever I draw hair or a lot of organic forms, I'll do something that's called the line of beauty. If you've ever uh, looked at George Bridgman's Guide to Life Drawing, he'll draw a long curve followed by a much shallower, smaller curve in the opposite direction. That's, that's called the line of beauty. Uh, it's something I've really taken to heart. And, and you'll find if, if I just draw hair that curves like this, it starts to look pretty static and uninteresting, but if I just give it a little bit of a hook, it gives it much more life and, and a much nicer line. And so there, I've basically got the hair drawn in, and I want you to notice just how much the hair looks like a, a more of a thick and noodle almost, as opposed to you know something that looks light and airy and and like the kind of hair that you're more likely to see in an illustration. And the reason for that is fairly simple. It's it's the difference between drawing a shape like this and drawing a shape like this. And you can see what I'm doing here is I'm really drawing a ribbon. So it's it's actually a flat shape. And and that's really all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this hair and uh, redo it the way that I actually draw. And hopefully you'll really see the, the contrast at that point. I'm going to go ahead and draw hair. This is, this is a way that I approach it when I'm actually drawing. And so what I'll do is create something that's obviously much more of a ribbon effect and you can see how it's a flat shape and that's really all there is to it and this will give your hair a much lighter airier and more realistic effect and it's very very simple and I think this this might seem like a bit of an obvious thing but it really is a problem that uh, when I've helped artists develop, I've, I've really found this is a consistent problem that I, I deal with.
ultimately, I don't want to fast forward through this block-in stage just because I'd like you to be able to see it, but at the same time, I really don't have a lot of commentary, so just bear with me and watch me draw. All right, so I've basically got it blocked in here, and I just want to go ahead and clean it up. And this is always part of the, the process for me. I'm sure there are some artists out there that can do everything absolutely perfectly and cleanly right out of the gate, but I'm not that guy, so... I always kind of give myself permission to, I try and keep it as neat as I can and as organized as I can. And then once it's drawn in, I can just kind of go back and clean things up. Especially working on the computer is always necessary. It's, I think just because the screen is so slick, I have a harder time getting my lines to go exactly where I want them to go. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just throw in some line weight and just give it a little bit more depth this way. But you know, the truth be told, the, the purpose of this video I've already basically covered. So now we're just gonna go ahead and, and just finish it so it looks a little nicer. All right, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next week.